formal. Let's watch him off the break. As Optic Gaming will be pushing through beer. Here come the flurry of nades off spawn. And it looks like for now, he is still going to have this AR in hand. So maybe it's a change they're discussing and, and not quite ready to do it yet. Because from what I've seen, at least, nothing's changed from a loadout perspective too much for these guys. Woo! Well, said let's watch Formal, and there's a two-piece from him. Optic Gaming, they've got every lane watched. This is a start they want to have. Karma already pushing the fire, and again, woo, it's all green in the kill feed right now. As they start off with a, a, an overall KD of 7, now 8-1. and one. And now if you're TK, Nine and one. you can weather the storm here. Just don't give up streaks to everyone. And Formal starting to work towards them. Skump going to be halfway there as well. So you do take out Formal. Skump, though, still a nuisance on the map mid-cut as he's going to wrap out towards Cole. They're looking to set up on the street here for the next hard point. 15 seconds remaining top middle. Optic looks to be giving that up entirely. And look at where these... Oh, now... Okay, spots. so now Formal pulls out the PPSH. So maybe it's actually... It's hill base. A little, a little more hill base. Could be. Curious hmm. to see how that develops as it goes on, but we'll have to wait and see here. Krim trying to make plays in the back. Karma comes over and helps him from the box. Krim actually gets both kills there with the nade coming in. And look at where Skump's pushed up all the way to. He's hitting underpass. They've got this so far pushed out. This is the best setup you could ask for if you're Optic Gaming. Uh, unfortunately, he's pushed up so far, you can see where Krim6 then pops. That well, might end up hurting him a no, little no, bit. No. I mean, you spawned TK out on that the was, left side. Uh, that was more because TK had a challenge at the back box. They had already killed him the there. Two have dropped. So there was already pressure on that side. He shouldn't have spawned on that back side of the map. So you, you can make an argument either way, but there it's mainly due to the part that TK did a great job of at least picking the first anchor off that power position, giving them a chance now to push into this hill. Krim should be dead momentarily as Kenny's there with the submachine gun. And now this next part point's gonna be the interesting one from TK. I mean, that is where in the grand final, they destroyed LG. Yeah. Absolutely destroyed them. They made the dock hard point their home. It was all team caliber. I believe it was something like 110 to 10, the score line here. Let's see if they're gonna be able to do a little bit of that. Unfortunately for them, there's already two members of Optic Gaming set up inside. They rotate early. They've got mid-map control. This looks very good for Optic. Oh, yeah. Another hill where they set up and it pays off. And that, that's what Optic Gaming fans want to see. Karma said on Twitter, you know, they just did not rotate enough in New Orleans. Now they're making adjustments. 48 to 42, the score. Kenny top middle tries to challenge Formal. And yeah, you'll have to back down from him, pal. And it wasn't just not rotating. Sometimes it was like, they, like let's say Formal would rotate first. It's almost like he would get anxious and he'd want to go push out more and find a kill and end up punishing him. Yeah. So it's a little bit of patience, a little bit of discipline. They're looking good right now, though. Karma was on a five streak, did finally fall. But either way, every player on Optic positive. We saw the same thing in map one, Maven, when Optic took that one. Well, we've seen what's going right for Optic, at least here earlier. Let's hop over. Can we go to maybe Chino right now? He's on a, he's on a two streak, and I want to see what he's getting done in the hard point. Is, uh, yeah, everybody's sitting negative right now for Team Caliber. I kind of want to see it from their angle a little bit, just see what's going wrong. Ooh, accuracy challenges Karma. He will get the back spawn, so... This is the kind of chance now for TK to begin to fight back in this game. They're only down by nine. Oh. But as I said that, it's a two-piece nade kill from Karma. There's still one here, though. That's theory. Oh, oh, oh. Karma's snapping right now. Karma right now, 13 and six, three in a row. And he's sort of been like, almost like we talk about theory at times. Theory will have some slow games. And when theory is playing very well and finding kills, they start to blow people out. Still, everything being considered, it's only an eight-point game right now. <laughs> Right, what it's was the most TK thing ever. Yeah, what was the first game? The total, uh, I can't remember the total out slay, but... It's a 17-kill difference right now between Optic Gaming and TK, and TK are going to have the lead going into the next hill. <laughs> oh, that's, it, I love it. I love it. I mean, don't get me wrong, as a commentator, you love to see the big kills, the flashy plays, the streaks, all that, but it's just so impressive to me that you can get outslayed, outshot yeah. in a first-person shooter and you're still in games or winning games. <laughs> uh, I spoke too soon. Optic decided to go for one more push for the scrap time, and I believe it was uh, Scuff who got the kill to at least keep them up by 20 seconds. TK are here at Crane. They haven't been able to get into the hill comfortably yet because of this lower docks push from Optic Gaming. Finally, the kill feed goes all blue, which will let Accuracy hop in towards that hard point. He's got Chino watching over with the FG. This kill's being traded so fast. Really, this is split time so far, maybe. Yeah, Crane, I mean, if you're talking about the last hard point, the second hard point, they, they can be messy sometimes. It's like hard to find the person to go to between nades coming in or the long sight lines that you have to actually pick up the kills near the hard point. 
But right there, it was three kills coming through for Optic Gaming. They'll be able to rack up a bit of time, but with only 15 seconds left, I mean, we'll start thinking about mid-map for our second rotation. This has been interesting, because TK have had the spawns for this entire time on this hill, and have only gotten about 10 seconds off of it. If anything, Optic are going to split this time with them. Still considering they did not have any spawn pressure, I think it's just a testament to the amount of slang that they've shown up with so far on this map. That's certainly true. Over the 100 point mark, first will be Optic Gaming. And now into our second set of rotations. The kill feed very, very green right now. Crims found a couple of kills in a row. But the big difference here between game one and game four, I don't think really any streaks have been earned from Optic Gaming. No. Right? Yeah. If Optic, though, keep at this pace, they're on, uh, they will outslay TK by 40 kills on this map, which would be one of the larger differences I've seen so far. Call of Duty World War II Karma expecting players to push through beer. Kenny trying to get set up for this next hill and he's actually going to force Scump to fall on back. They've got to focus this area. Nice reaction there from the red-headed freak himself. 20 second difference. Again, TK going to keep this one close. They're never buried. And now they've hit Eclipsed 100 as well. But again, very green on the kill feed. And you take a look at that bottom right side of the minimap that you want to control, and it's going to be all optic. And again, this time it's actually formal pushing up very far. I believe it was Scump almost near underground last time. And you're spawning all the way at the top of street. Look at this. This is a smart play from optic. They've gotten the call up that all four players are here, and look at how they've changed their setup. They don't even have a player on the back box where you normally keep someone. They flooded this side out. They overwhelmed TK. And if Carver can get back here in time, you should be able to at least get one. Finally, now TK have a chance. A little bit too slow on off the game and getting back towards that power position. Yeah, I mean, Karma, he connects with his grenade. He throws before that. He might really be able to make a play, but I think he kind of split them as they were coming over. Ultimately, only got one kill. David, if TK get this time, they will have the lead. It's just... It, it's like it never ceases to impress me. Right? It's, uh, it's actually unbelievable. How just like in map one, in which there was four players positive on Optic and only a 30 second difference now. It's again the same scenario, this time it's TK in the lead. I wonder what it feels like, you know, to be like on the Optic side of that too though. And like, you know, you feel like you're winning, right? You're getting a lot of kills. You know you're out slaying. Like it feels like you're doing well, but then you look at the scoreline, you're like, what the hell? Like why won't TK go away? Yeah. Again, it's happening here. Skump playing top middle. Formal now dead. Skump the last Ooh. one alive. It's shots from Cheeto. So he's on a three streak. Cheeto trying to push forward. Crim in the corner, just holding the angle. He's got help from two more teammates. It's now Optic Gaming with Clean House. Yeah, they answer right back. Deere will be the last one here, just trying to contest on this backside. Nice job. Like, this is an example, though. How annoying is this? That was, you know, six more seconds that Optic won't have. And when the game's this close, it makes all the difference. How many times do you see Theory do something like that, though? Whether yeah. it's this map, you know, St. Marie, we've seen him do it a ton of times. Just and, being a pest and, 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 and testing. And this is, a, this is a testament right here to TK and how crafty they get. They had a terrible setup that entire time on lower docks. But because they can test for so long on that hill, they at least keep this game within reach, right? They don't give up 45, 50 seconds. They don't have any setup they want. They barely have a presence top middle. They're getting killed over and over on the cross, but they at least only give up about 25 seconds on that hard point. Well, now here we go. Into beer, two players spawn at the top for Optic Gaming. Unfortunately for them, accuracy set up. Oh with my the God. Picks up both. And now they need a hold here to take the lead. This is the hard point where Optic Gaming could have started to really put them away. But TK get all the kills. And now we may have another lead change here. We will. 18 kill difference in favor of Optic. And TK still have this game tied on up. Take notes, folks, on just how TK are able to do this over and over. As it's Kenny soaring on in, two from him. Krim the last alive, Optic will get the close spawn, but again, even if they get the scrap time, they're only up by 20 seconds. TK sticking around, another game that looks to go down the stretch, and again, the big thing here, in game one, down the stretch, Optic had a barrage of streaks to use. They do not have that luxury here. Is this another one of those hard points that TK been, takes over late? There hasn't been a single streak this game. Not that I've seen, no. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I miss a lot, though, sometimes. You do. Karma. Flanking from this top side. TK, this is a hole in their setup. They have no idea. Chino now watching, will get the kill. A quick trade from Optic Gaming. Another lead switch in favor of TK now. Again, Optic up two to one in this best of five. TK trying to keep the reverse sweep alive. 
Chino continues to assist his teammates on these close range gunfights. They're trying to push him to fire, trying to line him up. Karma with two big kills. Accuracy trades it out. I thought maybe Karma, he pushes through, gets those two. Maybe they can affect the spawns, but still spawning in the back is going to be TK. Look at all the kills. No time has been earned for Optic Gaming. No, not a second of time. Even with all of these kills, TK are still going to get at least a split time with Optic Gaming here. Look, a team kill from Formal. It was all green in the kill feed, and still they don't get a second. Team Caliber up 14 now. We're into our third set of rotations up top middle. It was Crim6 inside of the hard point. He's going to have to duel with Chino. Fury come up the steps to try and make a play as well. Nice shots there under the weak player and fire. How does he end up with both? I have no idea. Every player on Optic Gaming getting close to that 30 kill mark. A ridiculous stat to see. Game clock down to just a minute and 20 seconds. As Chino just continues to at least trade kills until his teammates can come off spawn. Form up now 40 and 28. 40 bomb, looking for a 50 bomb. Woo! Back and forth, the score goes. With an SMG. Yeah, I mean, he's, people forget back in Ghost, he was quite good with a sub in his hand, even before the Vector took over. 200 to 200. We've got 10 seconds left here at the statue. TK being outstayed by 26 kills will have a 10 plus second lead going into this next hill. Optic have the spawns. Number seven on the minimap is Chino, though. Maybe he can make a play and disrupt as he check the close corner. He's able to get some shots. Actually does finish off Skump before Chino then is able to trade it out. And the hard point is Optic Gaming. TK. Need to break here. Optic technically, I believe, comes That's exactly huge. when. This is huge now from Kenny. He's broken the spawns. The flood goes in. My God. It's TK with the break. It doesn't matter how many waves of kills you get, Optic. TK get the clutch kills to give them a chance in this game. They're now within 32 seconds of forcing the map five. Kenny, Chino going big. Theory, though, with a team kill. As soon as Kenny makes a play, he's going to be taken out. They're all here. 15 seconds remaining. This should be going to Team Caliber. We got to hop over to the Doc's hard point because this is going to be big. Accuracy has already picked up one. That need looked to be right onto Karma, but he is able to stay up. Two players now set up in Docs. Chino trying to push through and find a kill maybe here on the Crim 6. Shots look on, but Crim able to get his head. What? <laughs> what? The hip fire wizard. That's just Kenny summed up in a play. Formal with two more. He's at 46 kills, trying to do whatever he can to get Optic Gaming to win this series. They do not want to go to a game five. Scrappy play as teams are flooding from both sides of the hill. TK continuing to contest. Chino gets both but he's getting pinched. Optic should get this time. They're still down by five seconds. And it's just Krim now off of the race as we go. Hitting mid-map as Optic Gaming, storming from both sides, will be Team Caliber. Two kills go to Optic Gaming. Optic back in the lead, 238 to 236. Fury trying to pick up two, but Formal gets the better of me. Now has 49 kills. Where's number 50? They have to push towards this hard point. Optic Gaming can win here. No one's close enough. OG oh, in the end will finally get it done as Skump gets up out of his seat and lets him know, screaming, let's go, 250 to 236. Let Formal run the SMG more. <laughs> he just dropped 50 kills. And I'm not surprised at all. We know he can do it with any weapon. I know if you're newer to Call of Duty, eSports, maybe you haven't seen it, but my God, and that was this was almost vintage optic like last year. Skump took over some maps. Formal took over there. My goodness. The slaying gods went off, and uh, TK, I mean, they're gonna have a couple losses like that. It's just a still crazy to me how close it is, considering they ba basically withstood a 50 bomb. I just couldn't stress it enough, right? I, I kept counting.